What's up, guys? This is Zach with Dream Media Home Theater. We're out here with Gene from Audioholics, and I just heard the most incredible two-channel demo from the RBH Tower of Power up here at the front of the room. And I wanted him to give you guys an insight into the complexities of this room's build as well as the equipment. You wanna shed some light? Sure. So to start with this room, basically it's a rectangular room. It's 20 feet wide by 25 feet long. And as you saw when you came into the doors, there's two solid core doors with an eight inch air gap and Kinetico seals on it. So when you close these doors, you can hear how quiet it gets in the room. And what that translates to is I can listen to music at pretty high levels or watch a movie and I won't wake up the wife. And that's really important. It's important for sound isolation, but it's also important to get the noise floor low in the room so you can hear all the detail of what you're listening to. So the rest of the room is acoustically treated with Anthony Grimani. He helped me out with some of the acoustic products and the design in here. I put acoustical treatments behind the screen, which is a great trick. And that's part of the reason why you heard such a great two channel experience here is because I have that treatment there as well. I've got the matching center channel behind the screen as well, and it's at the proper height. So the LCRs are all at the same listening plane. In my opinion, the most important surround speaker in a system are the side channels because our sensitivity and lateral sound is really high. And these are the eight 20 ones, and they have basically a similar driver topology as the front three speakers minus one mid range. So it's an eight inch and then the AMT and then another eight inch. And these are on walls, so they're really easily to just mount on a wall with a bracket. And then the back channels are the SI 760s, which are similar to the 821s, but they have a six and a half inch driver instead of an eight inch driver. So it's a tri amplified system. You know, it's a three way system. We got the 412s per speaker, three eight inch mids and the AMT tweeters. Lots of dynamic power there. I've got two subs in the back that are similar to the ones in the front. That way you have every seat has more consistent bass. So no matter where you sit, you get even bass distribution. And now we just added this super 21 inch sub that we're just getting integrated into the system for the infrasonics. And for the electronics, I have a Storm Audio 24 channel ISP processor that has direct art, which is the next level of room correction that we are gonna be implementing in here. And now for the Atmos, we have six speakers in the ceiling. I'm using their in-ceiling speakers that are commensurate with this system for front and back height channels. We just did some initial setups in here. We have a 3 dB point now of five hertz. That's insane. My neighbors are gonna love it. You guys hear me talk about this all the time on the channel, dispersion of audio throughout the space, not only in the primary seating area, most of the time we're just talking about basic setups, one sub versus two subs. The same thing applies here, but on a much more high-end scale. Did I just count 13 subwoofers? Yeah, probably. <laughs> <laughs> I believe we have a 9.13.4. Maybe 13 drivers. Yeah. yeah. So a 9.13.4. If you want to call it that, it's, <laughs> it's still a dot one for the yeah. subwoofer channel, but we've got a lot of piston area in this room and it just translates to effortless bass, which I think you heard even in just the two channel demo. If you like this video, give us a big thumbs up and make sure to smash that subscribe button down below for more. And keep listening. <laughs> Till next time, this is Zach and Gene. Thanks for watching.